All right, you've got a yellow light on your garage door sensor. Uh, so this problem was driving me nuts. Uh, the good news is there's a pretty easy fix for this that I'll walk you through that worked for me in a moment. It doesn't matter if you have a Genie, a LiftMaster, a Chamberlain, all these brands, their sensors operate the same way. And whether it's a yellow light, a red light, if it's blinking, you want to see a solid light there. Um, basically, if these sensors are misaligned, dirty, amongst a number of other things, your garage door simply won't operate correctly. So maybe when you go to close the door, it just won't shut at all, or it'll attempt to close, it'll begin to close, and then it will shoot back up. Uh, it can be incredibly uh, frustrating. It was, I know, for, for my wife and I. Um, so let's just jump in to exactly how to fix this. So real quick, just uh, what these sensors do and what they are. So you'll notice at your garage door, they're at the base of the garage door, and these sensors are just shooting an infrared beam back and forth. And their purpose is really, it's a reverse safety mechanism. So that if you're in your car and you're attempting to back out of your garage, these sensors detect your car as the door is starting to close, it'll stop the door from closing and actually open it instead. So whether you're backing up or maybe a little kid is running under the door as it's closing, these sensors will pick up on that disruption because the beam will be interrupted, which sends a signal to the garage door to actually stop closing and to open instead. Uh, so whether a kid, a person is trying to pass under or a car, it's really a safety mechanism. But if this safety mechanism is interrupted in any way, your garage door is basically rendered useless until you fix it. Uh, so that's how these uh, sensors work. And then here's how to fix them. So the first thing I always recommend is get down and look at these sensors on either side of your garage door and make sure that they're clean. This is a close up of one. I mean, we had cobwebs, dirt, dust, debris. You're in a garage, you know, snow, moisture, condensation, all these things can impact these sensors. So I recommend just taking a paper towel with just a little bit of water and brushing these things off and clean that sensor lens itself directly uh, and make sure that both of these sensors are, are cleaned off. So that's the easiest thing you can do. Sometimes that alone will actually fix it. But what was the case for our garage door and why the yellow light sensor was on the, uh, at all was because these sensors weren't aligned. So remember I mentioned they're shooting this beam across the base of your garage door. Well, if these sensors aren't in alignment with each other so that both uh, lens eyeballs, uh, as they're called, are directly pointing at each other, then uh, they can't shoot that beam across and detect if, if that beam's being disrupted and work properly. And so if they're off tilt, like for example, if one's tilted down, the other's tilted up, these won't work. Uh, there's a lug nut that holds these in place. Uh, and so you wanna make sure, just look with your eye, line of sight, and just try to get these lined up correctly. So you might have to play with this lug nut. You can loosen it, tighten it, et cetera, and just work with both of them until they appear to be lined up. Make sure nothing's blocking either of these. If you have like a cabinet or stuff you're storing in your garage, try to clear those away from these two sensors. But in most cases, if you're seeing a yellow light on your garage door, this is the problem. Your sensors are misaligned uh, and therefore they can't uh, communicate with one another and you're having issues. So you wanna make sure that you play and adjust these and then tighten that wig nut. And a little bit of a pro tip, this was recommended to a fr uh, by a friend of mine, use a zip tie to help secure these in place. Over time with your garage doors going up and down and you're using your garage door every day, multiple times a day, the vibration of the door opening and closing starts to uh, loosen this wig nut over time and your alignment falls out of place with these sensors. So if I scroll up, I actually had a good picture here. Just zip tie the front of these things and zip tie it tight. And that sh that vibration shouldn't happen anymore in case a kid bumps this or you bump into it or whatever, uh, it's gonna stay in place. So that's just a little tip uh, to do this. But 99% of the time, if your yellow light is on your garage door sensor, it's because these sensors are misaligned and you just need to align them again. Um, if that's not the case, then it could be something a little bit more serious. Uh, the sensor wires, they're pretty obvious. You see them coming out of the back on both sides of your garage door. Over time, sometimes these can get pulled on or torn or worn out. And if that's happening and these aren't getting sufficient power, that's going to be your problem. So you can just, I would recommend just looking visually, making sure that everything's connected. If you see a light on your sensor, that's a good sign it's getting uh, enough electricity probably. Uh, but just observe these. If you see fraying or tears or it's disconnected, you can try to reconnect it or hire an electrician or someone to come by 
uh, to maybe replace some of the wiring that's been frayed or pulled on or, or ripped. Uh, I already mentioned this step. Just make sure there's no objects in the way. Um, there's been multiple cases where people have like a bookshelf or some storage thing that they think is out of the way, but it's actually interfering with their sensors. So just clear out some space, give it like five feet uh, from the, anything from the sensor to the best of your ability and, and make sure that that's not what's causing that yellow light on your sensor. Um, and that's that. Uh, again, most of you, it'll just be getting the alignment right to, to get your garage door working again. But if none of those fixes work for you, you can call support for your make, whether it's, you know, there's a few popular brands, Chamberlain and LiftMaster are the two big ones. There's another company called Genie. All of them basically work the same way. Uh, I do include, if you look at the bottom of this YouTube video, I'll put in the description a blog post that I'm reviewing here where I go into detail on how to replace old sensors. If you need to, for whatever reason, buy new sensors, uh, you can install those. I have instructions here uh, from the manufacturers. You can review those steps here. Uh, otherwise, hopefully this helps. Uh, it can be frustrating, but usually the fix for this problem is pretty simple. So thanks for listening. Uh, and if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. All right.